This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, we got Elliot Wilson doing the Rolling Loud interviews, and they're a little weird, but I like Elliot Wilson. He's been in the game for a long time. Uh, you know, he's done a lot. You know, XXL. He's he's done a lot of stuff. Okay, so you can't take that away from him. Okay, at all. But he's like talking to Glorilla, and he's like, you know, you got us guys like reciting your lyrics and everything. He's like, speak for yourself, bro. I'm sorry. He's been on a tirade lately, too, to get his credit. Like, I've had the best drink in Viva. Like, Elliot, you've done your thing, man. You've done your thing. You don't need to You don't need to prove anything to anybody, man. You know, you uh, you have a permanent job. Up there. It was a, a, a title. You're doing a bunch, you know, rap, you're doing your the rap radar thing. He's doing, he's doing fine, man. He's still standing up business, and I'm still the best at this. <laughs> He's always posting stuff like that. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, then we got Twitter rebranding as X. Interesting. I'm banned from Twitter now for nothing. I don't know what it is. You know, they, it says I was spamming. All I, all I do is tweet out my videos and once <laughs> per video. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Gilly the Kid. Now, I saw Simba talking about this is just a bump in the road for Gilly. I know Gilly and... He did have a lot of sympathy. He was tearing up because he he's met Gilly's son and you know done interview with Gilly. But this is not a bump in the road. This is this is life changing. This is um, I've seen I've helped people through losing well, someone that was close to me lost a child. You're never the same anymore. The person was never the same after that. It's a piece of you, you know. And I could never relate to that because I don't have any kids, you know. But I can only imagine, you know, and uh, my heart goes out to Gilly, man, you know, uh, just like my heart goes out to Freeway for losing both of his kid children, you know, uh, I know how that is, you know, not per, you know, I, I know how it is helping somebody through it, you know, like a lot of emotions happen and uh, you have to be there to support that person through the hard time. So, and I, Gilly has a good support system with Wallow and everything, so it'll be good. Adrian Broner uh, says sorry to a lot of people. He says sorry to Ho for telling him to F off when he gave him a contract. Apologize to Gervonta. He goes, I know you love me like I came from your mom. I don't know about that much, but, you know. <laughs> and he says, I, I want to apologize to Diddy because even through it's not my best interest to drink, but uh, when I decide to do drink tequila, I drank Casamigos. Okay, that's weird apology i want to say sorry to rick ross because at my last fight i told him to meet me there uh too early and he was just sitting there for hours so he left but i apologize big bro i, I want to apologize to twin charlo and future of boxing he was drunk doing an interview i know you boys don't hate me but you don't <clears throat> but i don't hate y'all I know you boys don't hate me, but I don't hate y'all. Okay. He apologized to Errol Spence Jr. He got the biggest fight of his life coming, and I'm going to go there yelling until my voice is gone. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, who else does he apologize to? Floyd Mayweather. When we first met, you told me uh, a lot and tried to teach me a lot, but I went on my own way and figured it out myself. But now I'm older, and I can see you tried to help me. Okay, cool. Uh, then we got Kiki Palmer. She's out here saying, I got my own cash. I don't need a man. She's doing songs like that now because of her. Stop. Okay, these two need to stop bashing each other in public. You do need a man and he needs you. You have a child together. Like, grow up, Kiki Palmer. You weren't old enough to have it. Yeah, obviously, you weren't mature enough to have a child. Okay. Uh, people that are too immature should not have children, to be honest. To, that goes for her husband, too, or whatever he is, you know, boyfriend. Yeah, you guys need to, like, learn how to do stuff in private. Keep it classy, you know? Everybody needs to do that. I don't care what race or anything. Everybody needs to keep it classy and don't air your business out publicly. And Nori, here we got him being corny again. Uh... Nori was called out by Mace earlier this week. He says, you went from gangster rap to making reggaeton. That's because Nori's always taking shots at Mace. Talk about, oh, they're doing sports shows. They're doing this. You know, it's like, 
Nori's a hater. Nori's always been a hater. Will always be. I don't care what you see on Drink Champs of the positivity. Nori behind the scenes is a hater. He doesn't want him and Joe Budden on that thing where they were like, oh, I'm so glad they're failing. It's so beautiful. Da, da, da. That's how they really are. People eventually always show their true colors. And that's how Nori is. Nori's lucky he met uh, EFN because EFN got his life back on track. Before then, Nori was begging for verses at Fat Burger in Miami. That's, that's just the truth. And I'm happy Nori's doing well. Nobody wants to see Nori not doing well. So I'm happy he's doing well. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.